My guest tonight is a man who has five names. Mike Smith, not the jockey. Uh, do you predate Mike Smith, Mike? Have you been around longer? I have been, Howard Harvey. I, I'm happy to be here, but I don't think I'll ever make it in this business With, until you start referring to the three-time defending champion as Mike Smith, not the handicapper. Not the hand handicapper on the NBC affiliate up here, handicapper for the Troy Record, handicapper for most local radio stations. <laughs> There's the Paddock Club for me on Monday. Thought it's about time we had him on the show. Mike and I will be back. Mike Smith, not the jockey. And I will be back with all nine right after this. Here's the opener to seven throws. Had a wait for a rider. Robbie Davis got thrown off wrinkled brow, but he did ride the rest of the day. So they substitute. Here's the seven furlongs. Phillies in mass three and up. Claiming tags 25 down to 20. They're off. Upstate Flyer gets out fast. There goes Mount Queenmore. Mount Queenmore grabs the lead. Upstate Flyer is second. Wrinkled Brow is coming up quickly, and Occipiter Star is right there on the inside fourth. Then there's a break of three back to the three trailers, Saratoga April, Ukrainian Gal, and Pleasant Courtney is at the back of the pack. Mount Queenmore pressed by Occipiter Star, and then between those two, Wrinkled Brow is right in there, mixing it up in between horses. It's two lengths back to Upstate Flyer fourth. The opening quarter, a contentious 22 and one-fifth seconds. They hit the half-mile pole. Exhibitor Star has a short lead. Mount Queenmore right there, battling away on the outside. Wrinkled Brow kept close third. Three lengths back. Upstate Flyer is running fourth. Saratoga April put to a drive fifth. Still seven lengths from the lead. Then a break of five more to Ukrainian Gal. Pleasant Courtney is far behind. Coming to the top of the stretch. It is Exhibitor Star head-to-head -head here with Mount Queenmore. But here comes Upstate Flyer sweeping to them on the outside. Saratoga April is kicking in, following Upstate Flyer. Then far the back, it's Wrinkled Brow. Three sixteenths from the line now, and Mount Queenmore couldn't keep up. The leader is Exhibitor Star by a half length at the eighth pole. Upstate Flyer is right there with her on the outside. Saratoga April is third. Sixteenth pole. Exhibitor Star turns back all challenges. It's going to be Exhibitor Star, a hard-earned victory. One by two. Saratoga April... Well, Harvey, this was your basic all-in-the-family winner. Steve DeMauro owns the horse. His son trains the horse. I think I was more surprised the way Exhibitor Star won than the fact she won. She rarely showed uh, speed in, in her the last 10 races in the paper, but today she was quick from start to finish. Stephen L. put the corks on her. She jumps loose. You're absolutely right. And she used to tie her. Here she was pulling away. Sip it as star. The DeMauro family and Shane Sellers. 11, 5, 80, 3, 80. Saratoga April picks up the pieces. 8 and 5. Upstate Flyer $4. The exact of 3, 4. $120.40. In the second race, it's 6.5 furlongs. Maiden's 3 and up. New York State Bridge at the gate. Number eight manipulator was scratched, so you will get a console double if you use Exhibitor Star. And they're off. Watrous Ridge gets out first. Car Domain is also right there, and there goes Stinky Dinky. Stinky Dinky gets the lead. Cardamain pressing from the inside. Watrous Ridge running in third. A break of four. De Moment is now running in fourth. Ellicat Banner takes fifth. Angry Cop back running in sixth. Followed by Temperance Reel. And we pass him. Heading for the far turn. The leader is Stinky Dinky by a length and a half. Cardamain is in pursuit, chasing second by three. Watrous Ridge is running in third. And then a break of three to Ellicott's Banner, who's now fourth toward the inside, about eight lengths from the lead now. Then uh, De Moment on the outside. Then a break of five to Temperance. Reel followed by We Pass em and Angry Cop. The field turning for home, and the leader is... Stinky Dinky. By a length and a half, Cardamain is on the attack on the outside. Ellicott's banner is coming up the inside now with his run. De Moment is there. Watch Ridge on the outside. They're at the eighth pole, and the leader is still... 
Stinky Dinky. But on the outside, here comes Watrells Ridge. Cardamane is in there in between horses and Ellicott's Benner. It is Watrells Ridge and Stinky Dinky. Stinky Dinky, Watrells Ridge. Watrells Ridge is the winner. Stink. Well, Harvey, uh, Tom Durkin had a lot of fun calling the front runner Stinky Dinky, but this was no laughing matter for Watrells Ridge. A Philly beating the boys. First time out of the gate, and also Diane Nelson's first win of the spa season. Good, good job by Dennis Bride and Michael Wattrell. I didn't even notice it was a filly till the race was over, but she certainly ran well and went by the boys laughing. Wattrell's Ridge, Michael Wattrell, Dennis Bride, Diane Nelson's first. 47, 20, 18, 49, 40. Stinky Dinky, 7 and 4, 20. Ellicott's Banner, 360 to show. The Exacta 6-9-358-20, Vanilla 6 dollars $150, 40 cents. Early double 36 254 40 and the Conso double with the scratch to us, the 38-1160. The third is a Scrimp, he's a maiden filly, two-year-olds, claiming tags 50 to 45. Back in the fourth position on the outside, Golden Bold is fifth. Better than ten lengths from the lead. Miss Eloper's down to her inside. Then farther back, it's Honor Society and Pediment Swan Lake. And Lil Nage is the trailer. The field turning for home. Wilson's Courage comes wide, and Terrace Flame inherits a clear lead. It's Terrace Flame in front now. Wilson's Courage couldn't keep up. And here comes Golden Bree, and coming hard. Golden Bree takes the lead just inside the eighth pole and gets away now by a length and a half, leaving Terrace Flame behind in second, Wilson's Courage third, and the others straggling in behind. A sharp winner here, Golden Bree. Five lengths on the wire. Terrace oh, Harvey, this was the old paddock club exactor. Richard McCarthy of Post Parade gave out the winner. I came up with a runner-up and the people who followed our advice cashed their tickets. And Richard McCarthy loves those firsters. Golden Bree, Hilmar C. Schmidt, John C. Kimmel, and Dennis Carr. Pretty good price here. 22 40 10 88 20 Towers Flame, the one you like. 5 20 3 80 Wilson's Courage, 6 60 The 4 6 exact, $140.60. cents. The fourth's a mile and a sixteenth over the Mellon Turf course, three-year-olds claiming tag 75 down to 70. And they're off. Head trip out to get the early lead. Natural fact is there and toward the outside gallant guest and Gito. They're moving for the first turn. Head trip is the leader. Natural fact is pressing second. And three wide, it's Gallant's Guest. Gito is four wide, and special tribute saving ground all the way. Then it's Best of Music, sixth on the inside. The Plainsman is seventh, about six lengths from the early lead, followed by Lucky Perry and Link Atariot. Well behind the rest is Brett's Jet, and he is under the whip. The opening quarter goes in 23 and two-fifths seconds, making their way up the backstretch. Head trip loose on the lead by four. Natural Fact is running second. Gallant Guest on the outside is running in third. Then toward the inside, Special Tribute kept within five lengths of the lead. Then the Plainsman and Best of Music is in between horses. On the outside, Gito is called on for a bit more run. Then Lucky Perry and Lincoln Terriot and uh, Brett's Jet is uh, far behind and sluggish. The half in a strong 46 and four over for this good going head trip maintains the lead still there by two and a half lengths natural fact in full pursuit running second gallant guest is third best of music in behind horses now running in fourth the plainsman fifth on the outside lucky perry is strong but still seven lengths from the lead turning for home head trip trying to steal it wire to wire head trip cut loose for the final furlong and is there by three and a half best of music running room now second on the inside natural fact is running in third lucky perry is fourth still head trip Head trip by three with a sixteenth of a mile to the wire. Best of Music doing his best, but it may be second best. Head trip weakening as they come down to the line, but head trip holds and wins by a diminishing length and a half. Best of Music. Well, Harvey, this was deja vu all over again for Jose Santos. He won the stake yesterday, putting Via Borghese right on the lead. Does the exact same thing with the exact same results here with Head Trip. Head Trip's a nice New York bred. Bobby Spiegel owns this gelding. He bred it. His mascot and sound. Phil Glee's the trainer, Jose Santos. 10 24 80, 340. Favorite best of music, 322 60. Natural fact, 480. The exact of favorites inverted, 41 29 40. Granola 1441, 
Here's the fifth. This is a mile and eighth over the inner turf. These are Phillies and Mass three and up. Bottom claiming turf is all in for 35,000. And they're off. Hot times are here, is there? There goes Toe Tappen. Quickly to get the lead, it's Toe Tappen over to the rail, dashing away by two lengths. Firm Inquisition is second, and Verbal Intrigue is coming up on the outside. Under the line for the first time, Toe Tappen, the leader by a length. Verbal Intrigue moves into second. A shaky queen threads her way through now to be third. Firm Inquisition is fourth in between horses. Didari caught four wide, fifth going into the turn. Jen's Flame hugs the hedge and saves ground in sixth. Wattrell's Charm is running in seventh. And down to her inside, Assertive Dancer is eighth, followed by Gin Joint. Dana's Wedding is lingering near the back of the pack in the early going. She's better than 12 lengths from the lead now. Then it's Hot Times are here and pretty firm. Into the back stretch, long shot, toe tapping, leading the way. Verbal Intrigue there to continue the pressure. The quarter went in 23 and one, the half in 47 and three fifth seconds. A break of three back to a shaky queen who has settled down nicely, a relaxed third. Another two to Jen's Flame, fourth. Denari being helped along fifth. On the outside, Watrow's Charm launching a bid with a half mile to run. Assertive Dancer is seventh at the inside. Firm Inquisition. Dan is wedding as clear running on the outside. Now beginning to pick it up as the field moves into the far turn. Verbal Intrigue is taken over. Toe Tappen is dropping back. On the outside, a shaky queen making her move now. There she goes. Second on the outside. Watrow's Charm is now running in third. Dan is wedding continues the sustained bid. Now fourth on the outside. Only five lengths from the lead as they turn for home. A shaky queen handwritten into the stretch by a confident Diane Nelson. The leader now getting away by two lengths. Watrow's Charm has moved into second on the outside. Verbal Intrigue back in third. Dana's Wedding is hard ridden but gaining no ground in fourth. Down to the final hundred yards now. It's a shaky queen leading the pack by three. Dana's Wedding coming hard on the outside but coming late. And here's the wire. A shaky queen. Yes, holding on. Well, Harvey, a shaky queen is the wind-up horse. You wind her up, she keeps running the same speed figure every time. Got a perfect trip in here. One to watch might be the runner-up, Dana's Wedding, who had to overcome a very unfavorable outside post. The bad news is these were the two fastest horses. They were also favored in second favor. They ran one, two. If you were trying to get out, it was a problem. Shaky Queen, the Juju Jen stable, Henry Carroll, Henry's the trainer. Diane Nelson picks up her second. 563, 4280. Dana's Wedding, 343 dollars. Watwell's Charm, Georgina Frost, third, five dollars. Three women riders run one, two, three. The 511 is 2140. Here's the six. This is a sprint, three and up. State threads, non-winners of a race other than. They're off. Gate six gets out first. Windy Target is also right there with Karnak. For the inside, Concord's Prospect is there, along with Crafty Herald. Also up close, it's Pro on Ice. Crafty Herald, Concord's Prospect, Pro on Ice, and Karnak. The four of them scrimmaging for the lead. Gate six joins them on the outside, running in fifth position. Windy Target is now racing in sixth. Gifted Traven, seventh throw the inside. Royal Judge is eighth. Mont Shannon running in ninth position, followed by Harry Sherman, then Noble Roberto, six lengths back to New York appeal. Around the far turn now, Karnak caught three wide disputing the pace pro on ice is right there with him head to head concord's prospect toward the inside those three will hit the quarter pole together with gate six just in behind them running in fourth then it's crafty harold back running in fifth position windy target on the outside three sixteenths from the line karnak karnak in front now and roused to a short lead pro on ice continues to battle away toward the inside gate six is third it's karnak full out but a determined pro on ice is trying to come back to him pro on ice Digging down deep, Karnak on the outside. Karnak, throw on ice, streak under the line together. Karnak gets the bob. Throw on ice right there. In Karnak, the Johnny Carson hunch player's horse. Uh, Harvey comes out of an August 5th race, which I think is a key race. He and several other horses showed speed that day and a closer's bias. The comfort behind horses picked up the pieces. He comes right back and runs very well this afternoon. Very logical horses, Karnak. The Bodo Stable, Tim Kelly, and Mike Smith, the jockey, wins it. And the winner returns 7 4 40, 3, 80. Pro on ice worked 46. My clocker friend tells me it was 23 and 23. He needed that 23 in the stretch, came up a little short. 580, 420, windy target 680. The 75 exacta, $30 and 40 cents. Here's the seven. This is seven furlongs, Phillies and Mass, three and up. Non-winners of a race other than Maiden claiming a starter.
They're off. Susan Valley gets out first. The Bink. Speed from the inside. On the outside, recognizable is there. Then Indian Paradise, Lady Tory, followed by Tornado Cat. And at the back of the pack is Fleet Marguerite. The Bink in front. Susan Valley right there in hand. Second, two and a half lengths. And the favorite, recognizable, is laying just off the lead third. To her inside, Indian Paradise is fourth. And it's four lengths back to Lady Tory, who's near the back of the pack with Tornado Cat and Fleet Marguerite. The Bink in front through a quarter of 22 and three-fifths seconds. Susan's Valley's been right there with her, her shadow on the outside. Another two and a half to Recognizable, still sitting third. Recognizable now the favorite, making her move toward the lead as they race midway round the far turn. The half in 45 and four-fifths seconds. Moving toward the top of the stretch. The bank under hard pressure from Susan Valley. And now Susan Valley takes over. But Recognizable is right there on the outside. Lady Tory is picking it up. At the top of the stretch, Susan Valley is put to the test. Recognizable driving second on the outside. Susan Valley under the whip. Recognizable there on the outside coming to her. Those two passing the eighth pole together. Susan Valley digging down deep. Recognizable giving her all. Recognizable forging to the front as they come down to the line. It is recognizable, the winner by a hard-fought neck. Susan Valley was... Well, Susan Valley couldn't hold off the latest winner from the Shug McGahee assembly line, but this is why it sometimes pays to, to read the fine print in the uh, program. This horse was actually taking a drop in class. She faced non-winners of two last time out. Today, non-winners of one, Harvey. She didn't win, but she threw in a very strong effort. Last time she did, this time she meets lesser horses and she wins it. Take nothing away from Susan Valley. That's a very gutsy filly. But recognizable, Ogden Mills Fifth, Shug McGahee, Mike Smith, the jockey. 342, 62, 20. Susan Valley, 362, 60. Indian Paradise, $3 for show. Exact the 7 3, favorites in orders 1280. And the pick 3, the old 577, 25% takeout, will give you for picking 3, $29. Featured eighth, mile and eighth over the inner turf, three and up, now winners of two. And they're off. Trevelyan comes out quickly. Rugged Bugger is there toward the inside, and in between those two, it's inside the beltway. Moving by us for the first time, Rugged Bugger out to take a short lead. Trevelyan hard held to lay off the pacemaker in second. Down toward the inside, inside. The Beltway is running in third per pop, fourth. Devil's Bow under stout restraint running in fifth position. Beware the quest is rank and has checked hard while in behind horses now. Taken wide into the turn was Golden Plover. Adventuristic in between horses. Sangre de Toro settles in down inside. Rise to Rule is second to last, and Mr. Hydro is the trailer. Rugged Bugger loping along easily on the lead. The first quarter was an easy 24 and 2 fifth seconds. Rugged Bugger in front. Trevelyan's alongside, but he's only offering mild pressure here. Then Per Pop creeping up into third on the outside. Inside the beltway, down to the inside, he's now running in third. Per Pop is fourth. Devil's Bow reserved in fifth position. Adventuristic is running in sixth. Sangre de Toro is seventh. The ass went, half went in 49 and three-fifths seconds. Moving into the far turn now, and inside the beltway is slipped through on the inside to take a short lead. It is inside the beltway in front. Rugged Bugger counters to come back. Trevelyan hung out there three wide now. Devil's Bow is in behind the lead, running in fourth. Adventuristic called on for a bit more run in fifth. Sangre de Toro sixth toward the inside. Golden Plover is seven lengths from the lead. Then Mr. Hydro and Rise to Roll. Off the turn and into the stretch. Trevelyan on the outside. Inside the beltway on the inside. Those two full tilt now as they race past the eighth pole. Devil's Bow is now running in third. Trevelyan's under a furious left hand here by Jean-Luc Samin and has rested a short lead from inside the beltway. Inside the beltway giving his all as they come down to the line. Trevelyan too tough and holding on. Trevelyan wins. Out gaming inside the beltway to the line. Rugged Bugger was there. Jerry Bailey aboard uh, 
inside the beltway nearly stole the race here with a very aggressive move cutting the corner on the inside at the top of the stretch uh, Harvey if he had stole the race he would have uh, stolen the spotlight from the team Morgata stable and the cast of thousands who appeared in the winner's circle after this race nothing I'd rather see than huge crowds in the winner's circles we need all the owners we can get and uh, Mr. Morgata says these are new owners so good luck to them buy some more Jeffrey Jones, David Rothenberg, Tony Margotta, Jean-Luc Samin, 580-383. Inside the Beltway, 565-20, Rugged Bugger, 540 to show. The Xacta 76 is $29. The Triple 764, $185. Here's the finale there. This is seven furlongs. These are three-year-olds claiming tags 25 down to 20. Portage Path and Panico out fast. Brush Cut is also right there. Lucky Favorite and down on the inside, Bay Park. Leaving the chute and moving up the back stretch. The leader is Panico on the far outside. Portage Path is right there, and Brush Cut is now running in third position. Toward the inside, Bay Park sent up toward the lead now from fourth. Lucky Favorite being helped along in fifth, dropping five and a half lengths from the lead. Slew's Gold is sixth. Art History is seventh with a clear aim on the outside. Five lengths back to Lost Dutchman and Stately Wager. Prioritizers in between those two. The quarter was a quick one. 22 and one fifth seconds. Panico and Bay Park going at it. Panico short lead. Bay Park right there pressing from the inside. Three lengths back to brush cut on the outside. Art History levels off and Art History now hitting his best stride moving into third. By the back it's brush cut now in fourth. On the outside Portage Path moving in the fifth. Lose goal is sixth. Prioritizer is launching a wide bid from the back of the pack. Turning for home now. Bay Park down on the inside. Art History on the outside and Panico in between them. Those three headlong into the final furlong. Slew's Gold is now fourth. Passing the eighth pole. Bay Park determined at the rail. Stubbornly holding on to the lead. Panico and Art History. Then Slew's Gold and Portage Path. Bay Park would not be denied victory here. A valiant winner. Two lengths clear of Art History. Panico third. The rail is perhaps the most tricky place to be in seven furlong races. This, in my opinion, was a terrific ride by Mike Luzzi. Uh, patiently riding his horse, shooting the gap, saving the ground. This guy has made a real good impression, Harvey, in his first Saratoga meet. And Mike Luzzi's a man who did a lot of riding in Maryland, and his trainer, Dick Duttrow, for many years, the best Maryland hat. He's now up with us and doing okay. Bay Park, Meadowvale Stable, Luzzi and Duttrow. 64280. Art History, 76380. And Panico, $5 to show. The 111, these are actually coupled horses, $45.20. They ran the last time together. Doubles Chalky, 7 one 18, 40. Triple 111 and 12, $313. Three people hit that pick six on track, but seven hit that pick six off track. Let's look at those numbers. Ten winners, 6,500. All they really needed was the uh, Golden Bree, the John Kimmel first. Five correct, 355 tickets, which obviously didn't have that. They received $61. There's your jockey standings. Pretty close going into the next week. Bailey, 25. Santos, 23. Mike Smith, 22. Julie right behind and Richard Migliori. Oh, tomorrow night on Inside Racing, I have D. Wayne Lucas. Good enough? Very good. John Preachy, who must appear on any yeah. show. Travers, three-year-olds, got to have him on. Pretty good show. D. Wayne Lucas, even with me interviewing, has never done a bad interview, and this is no exception. You pick on Channel 13, you don't do until the morning of the... Tuesday for Wednesday. So you don't know even who you're going to pick yet. Can't, if I knew, Harvey, I couldn't tell He's you. running 50% on the station. That's pretty darn good. Tomorrow, if you're in the neighborhood... Eleanor Penn is going to take all that money. She won an Angel Penn and Junior's double the other day. <laughs> going to contribute to the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation. They'll have their dog show here. Mike Smith, I believe. Jerry Bailey. Richard Migliori. It's a lot of fun. If you're in the neighborhood, come and give a few bucks to the charity. Perhaps Eleanor will share another triple with them. She had the triple for 200000 I'm only kidding. Good night. May the horse be with you. Mm -hmm.